Hi YouTube, I wanted to do a little video on my new scooter, well, the bottom half of it at least. I will just be using the bars from my old setup. But I thought I'd go through some of the parts I've done. I've done a modification already, um, but I've got the last of my bits, which are going to be going on. So I thought I might as well make a video since we can't go out and ride. So, yeah, let's get into it. So I'll just go over what I have already. So the main structure is the Nick Tedrick Phoenix deck. This was a 23 long version of it, so 5 by 23 but I've cut it down and made it square completely because the old Phoenix deck says a little bit of the indent that goes in but yeah I've made it so it's completely square and I've also added an old school spring blade break. I'll put up some footage of me modifying that but yeah that's how that goes. I will need to be putting a little like spacer just kind of space out the spring a bit more to make a bit more tension just because I didn't do a great job I just kind of winged it but yeah man I can't wait to write this it's gonna be awesome. But yeah Nick Tedrick did an amazing graphic on this. I don't know if he draw it uh, I don't know if he drew it but yeah man it looks amazing. So, yeah good deal on that because I just go with good deals now I, I don't really necessarily go for the top of the line product anymore I just kind of go with what needs to be done um, this wheel is coming off as well this is just a, a newish wheel I had that I could test the brake with because I needed to make sure if it would fit so that's done um, so yeah the other parts I have I found this now this was a old eccentrix fork I don't know if anyone actually knows what that is but man these go way back the old dog scooter swish forks made by the same people I saw these on eBay I had to grab them like dude these are amazing forks they have the great um, insert I've had this insert for years ever since my first swish forks it's the only one I think that um, Johnny did with the 8mm thread inside so I can run an 8mm thread bolt instead of 6 so my headset always stays tight with this it's it's amazing trust me um, it's a shame that these won't ever be made again so you probably won't find them I think there's one set of red ones on eBay so really cheap amazing quality I can't wait to ride these because these are ride exactly the same they look a bit funky these bolts are just like I don't know, <laughs> I tried to take them out, but man, they're not coming out. But yeah, man, I can't wait, but yeah, that's amazing. It's like 12 to 8, and then that just kind of slides in like so, with a massive Allen key. So if it does cross thread, which it never has, but with the 6mm ones, you can just swap them out. Amazing design, you can work with any compression. I've used these with HIC mostly, but this will be the first time with this, yes. So. Um, talking about CS, recently just, well today even, had these come through and no that isn't upside down, that's actually legit um, upside down logo on the SCS, thanks Blazer Pro, but yeah it's the newest Blazer Pro SCS, they finally went with um, 8mm clamp bolts, finally, and also an 8mm compression bolt, so that will fit my fork. So it was kind of new that I was doing a 8mm fork, so that's awesome. And then I also have the Blazer Pro Holotech wheels. Now the reason why I went with Holotech is because I've always been afraid of sticking my fingers in spoked wheels. Um, so full cores have always been my uh, favoured wheel. So when I saw these they were going cheap, um, they look fairly decent, they're kind of cookie cutter from China. Like so many brands do these wheels, but yeah, these just look the nice, cleanest build. So yeah, my build is going to be an all black setup. Not by choice, that's just how it turned out. So yeah, the first thing I will need to do, and I will show you, is the... I've already put the fan race on. Hopefully this pinch ring is 
gonna fit good. It's kind of loose on there. If you ever wonder why your headset's loose, it's probably the pintering. You need a better one. It's kind of. If you just keep hold of all the pinterings you ever use, you'll probably always have one that will fit a scooter. That's what I have. I have a whole bag of them. But I think this is the best one I have. I might have to swap it out. I don't know what headset this is. It's just, again, like I've kept headsets over the years. They're odd. One's black, one's red. I have no idea. Um, and then I have a Blazer Pro top cap. Again, I had no idea that I was going to be buying Blazer product <laughs> when I chose this. It's just the nicest fitting top cap there is. Um, but yeah, as you may know, SCS has a very particular way on forks. And at the moment, these kind of pop out the top of the fork. I don't know if you can see in there. But yeah, the forks need cutting down just, just a tiny little bit. Um, otherwise, it's not going to compress. It's only the tiniest bit, so it shouldn't affect anything, I might have to cut this bolt down as well, or file it down more so it fits. But yeah, that's going to be a bit of a challenge, but that will be the next bit. But before I do that, I think I will find an axle for the forks and for, and put these wheels on ready. So yeah, I'll just go and find an axle in a second. Hey, I think I found one. I'll have to use a washer, but yeah, that's good. Oh, I'm just have a washer, so hopefully that will all fit together. Let's get a wheel. So I'm hoping that these wheel spaces are good as well. I mean, the laser could sometimes get it wrong, but we'll fix that further down the line, I think. Slid out. Nice. That looks epic. Tackle that little bolt first. Get the bearing in there. Just something to kind of tighten the brake. It's a really weird way I've kind of jigged it up. So. one or bearing and the idea is as you see that little spring bit here I'm just going to slide this underneath with a spacer as well and hopefully that will be enough to uh, spring well yeah just create tension between the spring and the brake because at the moment there's nothing going on so yeah this is going to be a bit fun Oh no, the bearing won't work. It's too wide. Great. That was the only idea I had as well. Um, yeah, I think like the wheel space would be a better idea. Yeah, so I've got these old aluminium spacers. Hopefully that, with that, will do the job. Bodge job. I love it. Got a lot of After about 10 15 minutes, I've actually finally done it. I need to tighten it, but yeah, you can see the spring is now on top of the bolt and the spacer. Awesome, that is really hot out here. I don't know if you've been out skating or whatever. 
some toolers and just do it up. Well, I say toolers, you need one tool. inserts because obviously the inserts kind of cave in as well so I have to like kind of hold them in because I've drilled them to fit so as you can see if I do that it kind of pokes out I have to really push down on it to keep it nice and tight awesome there we go yeah boy man that is a tight fit So just to prove, man, that is awesome. Stops perfect. It's literally just there. It's better than any other spring brake I've had. Yeah, just an idea. I drilled through here to put the brake on, and then a bolt runs through to this wall, but not right through. Kind of awesome. Yeah, the spring kind of pokes out a little bit. Just a tiny bit, but that's all right. Shouldn't grind at all. I cannot wait. That's awesome. Right, let's put the rest of the scooter together. Now for the headset, I think I'm gonna have to use some tin can, or for the SES even, just cause I think it's not. Cause these cheaper SESs, they're not like tilts where they're like machined by thousandths of an inch. They're kind of a bit meh, so you have to kind of fill in the gaps. As long as it's somewhat there, that's all that matters. And what I mean by that is like put tin tin can around the fork tube. Oh yeah, I need to cut the fork as well. I will go and do that now. Cutting is always really bad, but it just goes to show you don't need to do a perfect job as long as it goes together. So now, yep, that's perfect. So now, as you can see, you might not be able to see, it is sitting in there quite nicely. Yeah, got plenty of room to play with for compression. That's what you've got to do. You can't have it the same size because when the bolt brings it all together, you need that little space to kind of compress with. But the more fork, the better because that means more strength in the actual construction of it. So now I can drop that big bolt down. Oh, yeah, I might need to file down the bolt as well. I'm pretty sure I will have to do that. He is already like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's going to be nothing left, so I'll have to tighten them up real good <laughs> and file them down a lot. I might just hacksaw them off. Yeah. 
I will be back again very shortly. So I gave up on trying to uh, hacksaw through that little bolt. My hacksaw was not powerful enough, um, but I did somehow found some 12 mil thread and a lock nut. It was just right in front of me at the time. So there you go. So now not only have I got 8 mil, I've got 12 mil. So it just goes straight into the thread that was there. So yeah, that's kind of unique. Even got a washer for it too. So I hacksawed part of the threaded bar. Now I just need to drill out my top cap so it will fit the 12 mil. <laughs> This is going to be an insane compression bolt, but I've seen some big ones before. I think Epic's done one pretty similar, but it's a different thread type, I don't know. But yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, see you in a bit. One compression cap layer. I had to bet, get a bit creative, only had a 10mm drill. So now, boom. That is one chunky compression bolt. But, now, finally, God, it's been like half an hour since I paused last. I was not expecting it to take this long to do a scoop build. It always turns out to be like this. So yeah. SAS. Then the room. I'm going to turn that compression cap the other way. It's a bit bent. Slide them on in. Um, yeah, now I need a 12 mil socket. Didn't think of that one, did I? So just for your guys' information, this is used to take a car wheel off. So if this doesn't keep my compression tight, I don't know what will. So let's give that a go. <laughs> I don't know if it'll put... I have to cut the bolt down more, I think. We'll use some no, 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 no. Yeah boy. <laughs> That's definitely keeping it tight. So this is part of the cap tin. It's just the right height. Um, yeah, I just make a long piece. I do the entire uh, circumference first, try and squeeze it on, if it's too much, cut a bit off, try again, that's all you got to do, so I'm going to do that now. Always do it around the front and leave the slit exposed because otherwise it just doesn't, doesn't do it. So yep, I cut down the bolt so hopefully it doesn't interfere with the socket. And now to undo the stretched clamp because I stretched it to get it get it on with the shim that I bodged. There goes the washes that I do need in my shoe. Let's take Put it all together and then you find out you forgot the headset cap. Nice one. Yeah. That's better. I should have realised that. That's an amateur move that. But yeah, nearly there. Oh boy, yeah, that is tight. <laughs> Man, that headset. I think I might have to find another headset, but I'll do that another time. But that is now my new complete setup, basically. Other than my bars, which will be coming off my other set, which are. Mr. H bars. Mr. H has been making bars since like 2008 and he does an amazing job so um, those bars keep going so yeah I will uh, be using this sometime in the future 
whenever my AO Sachem 2 breaks, which I have been teasing a review for that, but whenever it goes, it goes, and then I'll do a review. Come on, a new setup. Blazer Pro, SES with upside down logo, Phoenix Iron deck, Blazer Pro wheels, uh, blade brake mod thing, Eccentrix fork, awesome, and some random headset. Well, I hope you enjoyed my build process. Um, I certainly didn't enjoy it, but that's just me bodging scooters together. Bit of a perfectionist when it comes to building scooters, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. With it.